see this one beta. A rod AB, this is your rod AB beta. A rod AB of length how much? Capital L. And mass of this rod is capital M. Is being hinged at the topmost point of your A. Hinged means it is free to rotate about this one. You got a L addition. Okay. Okay, nah? So it is free to move about your point A, but initially it is at the rest. Rod AB of length capital L and mass capital M is hinged at the topmost point A as shown. Uh, and it is free to rotate about this point. If ball of mass m by 2, if ball of mass m by 2, moving at a speed of your u, if mass m by 2, moving at a speed of your u, strike the other end of the rod, this one, isn't it? And sticks to it, and sticks to it, and it is getting attached to this one, and find the angular speed with which the rod will move after the collision. Okay, now. So initially this rod is yes. rest ball this mass and m by two and it is moving with velocity u and it is being heated to this rod which is free to move. Yes. The moment it hits it, it gets stick to it. Okay. It gets yes. sticks to it. And this both of them will be moving with where one common angular velocity that is nothing but of your omega final. Initial the angular velocity is how much better? How much is the angular velocity of this one? Zero. Yes. But initially, it is at rest. The it moment it gets to this one, it gets attached, and both of them are moving with a new angular velocity that is omega final. Now tell me, is there any external force acting on that one beta? F. F M and on uh, that. Sir, actually, we can consider the ball as the external force, right? No, because you are, this is moving okay, momentum. Attached. Mass into yes. velocity is momentum, but okay. not F. F oh, and okay. a weight. Like say, this is the weight of the body I can take. Yes, sir. So if I'm taking the weight of the body in the downward direction, this weight of the body is passing through the axis. So there is no perpendicular distance for the torque. Yes. If we need, for the torque, we need the relation tau is equals to r into perpendicular distance. But for the force of the weight of the rod, which is acting in the downward direction, there is no perpendicular force. So as perpendicular force is zero, so then the torque acting on the system is how much for me? Zero. Isn't it? So as there yes. is no external force acting on the system, the net torque acting on the system is zero. So when net torque acting on the system is zero, so what is happening? Momentum is said to be conserved now, beta? Yes, sir. Momentum is said to be conserved. So that's what you are happening right now for the given condition. See here. Let's see. As no external torque is been about your point A, you point a card, there is no external torque about it. Initial angular momentum must be equal to final angular momentum. This is the angular momentum for a particle. For a particle, you know the formula. How do you write? Mv into r. For rigid body, you write the moment of inertia like i into omega. Yes. Yes. Isn't for a particle it is mv into r, and for a rigid body it is i into omega. Now see into for a omega. particle. Yeah. So for a particle mass is how much? M by two, moving with velocity u. Perpendicular distance at a point A. See, this is a momentum and this is a perpendicular distance. So this yes, perpendicular sir. distance L. is how much for me? L. Okay. So that is equals to I into omega because this total rigid body is right now rotating. Rigid body is rotating yes, with sir. angular velocity. So it is I into your omega final. So M into U into L that is equals to. Now see, this is a rod about then this is the axis on which it is rotating. This is your axis. Yes. Sir. You know for a rod when the axis is passing through one end, moment of inertia is how much? ML square by 3. Yes, sir. For a rod. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The axis Corner, is yeah. ML square by 12. Yes, Sorry, sir. ML square by 3. If axis is three. been passing yes, through center, ML square by 12. This is ML yes, square by 12. If the axis is at one end, it is ML square by 3. So now for by this three. rod, this yes, is the axis on which it is rotating. ML square by 12. ML square by 3. Now this particle okay. M by 2 is how much distance from sir, this axis? Isn't and this? Sir, but it is not one end. Okay, of this rod. Okay, yes, sir. For this rod, no, one end only. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Now, see this particle m by 2 from this axis, it how much distance? L. So it is m by 2 into L square, moment of inertia formula. I is equal to m into r square. R is here, yes, how much sir. for me? L square. And this one is omega final. Okay? Yes, sir. So everywhere mass gets cancelled. Yes, sir. This L, L, also. this L and this L also get cancelled. Yes. So remaining is here how much? U by 2. So U by 2 is equal to this is L by 3 L plus, by of 3 L by plus L by 2 omega final. Yes, sir. 
So if I simplify that one, see how much I'm getting? U by uh -huh. two is equals to L by mm -hmm. three plus L by two into omega final. Yes, sir. So omega final, if I'm bringing out, it is U by two divided by L by three plus L by two. So this will be equal to your three U by six five. Com, uh, six will become the LCM and uh, at the end, it'll get cancelled, no, sir. Mm. Okay, now? Yes, sir. Next one. This one is a very good question, beta. So, this is a disk. Initially, it is moving with angular velocity omega, beta. Okay? This is initially disk. Forget about all this. This is only a disk of mass capital M, radius capital R, and angular velocity of this one, what? Omega naught. Now, on this one, suddenly a block of mass small m is been dropped. That means it has been kept at one end. Then what happens to the angular velocity beta? It increases or decreases? Uh, it decreases, sir. Decreases because more weight, na? So yes, weight sir. has been increasing the speed of, like say, in a car, if it is a capacity of four, and if eight members are sitting in the car by somehow, then the yes, uh, accuracy of that speed one, will one speed will be decreasing, gada. Because yes, there is sir. a lot of load in pulling out the body rather than uh, moving in the fast condition. Is yes. It? Sir. So that is the reason what I can write here is right now. Uh, on this disk, initially it was moving with omega naught. The moment a block of mass m has been dropped, what will be the final angular velocity? Is there any external force again, you see? This is the axis of rotation beta. And you make sure that whenever you're applying the angular momentum, you should apply the along axis of rotation. Initially, it should be along axis of rotation. And finally, the system also should acting upon your axis of rotation to the rotation end. Whenever you are conserving the angular momentum, make sure that net external torque must be zero and negligible. And before and after one, take the angular momentum about the same axis. So whenever you are conserving the momentum, initially about whatever axis you have conserved the momentum, final also you should conserve along your same axis of your rotation beta. Yes. Okay. So, so this of this one is how much about this axis so there is no external torque because there is no external force on this one is it there is no external force acting on this body right now is there any external force acting on the body you see better no sir there is no external force part because for the force we need to have the force into perpendicular distance from the axis of your rotation okay na? so there is yes. no external torque acting about your axis of your rotation part so no external torque property, angular momentum is conserved. So initial angular momentum must be equal to final angular momentum. Initially, about the axis, moment of inertia is m r square by 2. And initial angular velocity is omega naught. And that will be equal to final angular momentum is um, the disk of moment of inertia, that is m r square by 2. Along with that one, this mass is also at a distance of r gather. So it is m into your r square. Yes. Isn't it? small arm at a distance of r from the axis of rotation. So that is the reason. Finally, we will be having the moment of inertia of the disc plus moment of inertia of your mass into omega yes. final. Isn't it? So everywhere this r square, r square, r square gets cancelled. So it is m into omega naught by 2 is equals to here it is m by 2 plus of your small m into omega final. So omega final is m into omega naught divided by capital M plus 2m. So omega final is equals to how much you are getting? Omega final is equals to your capital M divided by capital M plus 2M into your omega naught. So this is your final angular velocity. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Sure. And this one, you already know some of the relations better. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, four identical spheres, each of mass capital M. What type of spheres better? Identical spheres. Each of mass capital M and radius capital R are placed on the vertices of a square of edge L. Okay. Find yes, the moment of inertia about an axis coinciding with the side of the square. We need to find the moment of inertia about an axis. And this axis is passing through one side of the square. Square has how many sides? Four sides. Rather. So uh, now this is like it, this is your square. The axis might be somewhere here right now. It might be the axis or it might be the axis or it might be the axis or it might be the axis. Any one side nunchi axis pass over. So there are the chances this axis yes. may be along any one side of the square part of relation. That's what is asking. Find the moment of inertia about an axis which has been coinciding with the side of your square. Now you know for the sphere, when the moment of inertia is passing through center and perpendicular to the plane, the moment of inertia is how much? 2 by 5 mr square. <clears throat> yes, sir. Isn't it? 
Now, if there is certain distance, like say about this dotted line, I need to calculate the moment of inertia, which is a distance L, then I'll be applying the parallaxis theorem. I is equals to ICM plus ML square. Mm -hmm. ICM is nothing but this IZ. IZ value is 2 by 5 M into your R square plus M into your L square particle ratio. Isn't it? Now, see how I'm drawing this. Yes. This is a square. These are four masses, four uh, solid spheres. One, two, three, and four. Side of these squares are given as L. Now, this is the axis which has been passing through one side of the square. Okay, this the red line. This dotted line is yes, your sir. axis of your rotation which is passing through one side. Now, see, when this axis is passing through this one, for A and B, for two spheres, A and B, we have the direct formula of moment of inertia. Gada, because axis is directly passing through the center. So, directly center, I can take yes, the moment sir, of inertia by... of that one, 2 by 5. But this sphere, yes, yes. from this axis, it is a distance of L. It is a distance of L. So C and D, C, C and D will be used parallel axis to help out the moment of inertia. So this is one and this is one on Kunte. Moment of inertia about your one and one is nothing but IA. We need to calculate the moment of inertia of A, moment of inertia of B, moment of inertia of C, moment of inertia of D. So moment of inertia about this axis will be equal to moment of inertia due to A, moment of inertia due to B, moment of inertia due to C, then moment of inertia due to your D part of your relation. Okay, now. Now, let us try to calculate what is the moment of inertia of your A. Moment of inertia A is passing through the same axis, 2 by 5 mR square. Beta. Yes, sir. Then B is also 2 by 5 mR square. Then C. Yes, sir. Now, C, C. now, this C is, now C is at a distance of L. Isn't it? This is the axis. We need to know the moment of inertia passing through center and perpendicular distance for that one. So, I yes, C equals your ICM plus of your M into L square. Yes, sir. ICM is okay. how much? 2 by 5 mR square plus M into Danyoka distance. That is nothing but L square. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Now, in the same way for the D. For the D also, we are getting the same condition. But So, for the D is also the same condition. So, ID is equal to your ICM plus of your M into your L square. So, moment of inertia passing through center of mass is 2 by 5 mR square plus M into your L square. Okay, na? Yes, sir. You see, even the C and D are at same distance gada, from the axis. Whatever is the moment of inertia for the C, that will be the same, for, be the same D for D. Yes, so oh, like yeah. A and B, they have the same. same plus C and D L square. Solid sphere, it is 2 by 5 mR square plus ML square. So I know IA, IB, IC and ID substitute in this one. Better. IA is nothing but 2 by 5 mR square, 2 by 5 mR square. IC is 2 by 5 mR square plus M into L square. Into 2. Run the same one, but I'm just multiplying yes, with sir. your 2. Okay. This one are also same gabati 2 by 5 mr square into 2 plus 2 by 5 mr square plus ml square into 2. Isn't it? So 2 yes, into sir. 2, this is 4. 4 mr square divided by 5 plus 2 into 2, this is 4 by 5 mr square. 2 into two this one, 1. So this is 2 into ml square. 4 yes. by 5 plus 4 by 5 is 8 by 5 beta. So it is 8 yes, by 5 mr square plus 2 into your ml square. So mm -hmm. this is the moment of inertia about the one axis when it is passing through the side. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Okay. One more condition, beta. Same question. See what is asking is four identical spheres, each of mass m and radius r, are being placed on the vertices of a square of edge L. Find moment of inertia about an axis which is been coinciding with the diagonal of a square. Which is coinciding with what? Coinciding with diagonal. the diagonal of your square. Now, axis should pass about what by the diagonal of the square. It means like this, na? Diagonal, bale Yes, sir. Isn't it? So, <clears throat> see how I'm right. So, these are the four masses A, B, C, and D. And this is the diagonal, one and one. This is your axis of rotation. So, again, we need to calculate the moment of inertia about this one and one. It is IA plus IB plus IC plus ID. Isn't it? Now see this moment of inertia of A is the perpendicular distance from this axis is how much better? L by root 2. How I got this one? This is L. This is L. This total distance will be equal to from Pythagoras theorem root 2 into L. So yes, root sir. 2 L into half property. This is L by root. Okay, yes, sir. Isn't it? The moment of inertia of A will be equal to this is at a certain distance gather from this one. So moment of inertia passing through its own, and this is your perpendicular distance, and this is the axis. So, moment of inertia of A will be equal to ICM plus M into R square. Yes. Okay. Moment of inertia of A about its own axis, 2 by 5 MR square plus M, small m is nothing but capital M, 
this perpendicular distance is how much here? L by root 2. So it is L by root 2 whole square. Okay, na? Yes. Now for the C also same, Gada. This C is also same. This is your axis which is passing through its own. And this axis is parallel to this one. And the distance between them is L by root 2. So moment of inertia for C is 2 by 5 MR square plus M into L by root 2 whole square. Clear? Yes. Sir. So we got the moment of inertia for A and we got the moment of inertia for the C. Now see for B and D, it is uh, passing through the center. So it will be direct form like that, 2 by 5 M into R square. So whatever is the moment of inertia for the B, the same will be the moment of inertia for the D because axis is passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane part of relation. So for your IB, it is 2 by 5 MR square and for ID, it will be your 2 by 5 MR square. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Then, see the axis better. See, this is at a perpendicular distance of L by root 2. C is also at a perpendicular distance of L by root 2. Yes, sir. But that is it is passing through the axis. Yes, sir. Okay, it is passing through the axis part of a relation. So, for B and D, there will be direct formula. But only for A and C, you yes, need to apply was... the parallel axis. L by, yes, sir. Okay, na? Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, so I got I uh, I know the moment of inertia of B and D are same gabati 2 by 5 MR square into 2. Into 2. B and C are same gabati 2 by 5 MR square into plus two. M by L by L 2 whole square. Two. Yes. R square is equals to L by root 2 whole two. square. So yes. that will become for me L square by 2. That's what I have written yes. right now. Yes. Isn't it? Into 2. That is also 2 times. So you multiply this one 4 into ML square by M into R square divided by 5 plus. This is 2 into 2, 4 into MR square by 5. This is a 2 into 1. So it is 2 ML square divided by 2. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. 4 by 5 plus 4 by 5 is 8 by 5. 8 by 5. So it is 8 by 5 MR square plus of your M into your mm. L square. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so from previous also you got same answer, sir? No. Previous we, we got, got yet 2 ML. 2 ML. Yeah. The procedure is same. But yes, only sir. thing is axis is like slightly different. That's it. Yes, sir. Got an idea? Yes, sir. Chalo. No, chalo. This one is very important model. From a thin uniform disk of radius capital R, you could have radius distance to two R, sorry. Okay. From a thin uniform disk of radius two R, another disk of diameter two R is been removed. Ona, the disk na na. E disk radius of chesi two R. Okay. Now, from this disk, we are removing an another small disk, another disk whose diameter is 2R. That means radius is R. Yes, sir. Isn't it? So, the mass of remaining portion is M. And after removing this one, whatever the mass is remaining, that is represented by what? Small m. Yes, okay? sir. Okay. Okay. Now, find the moment of inertia of the shaded portion. This shaded portion. This one. Shaded okay, portion. Sir. And about an axis passing through the O and also perpendicular to the plane part of relation. Okay, so we need to calculate the moment of inertia of your shaded portion about an axis passing through the O and perpendicular shaded portion is this one. Sorry, remaining portion. Yes, sir. the remote gabati. This is your remaining portion right now, isn't it? Okay. So once again, from a thin uniform disk of radius two R, another disk of diameter two R is been removed. The mass of remaining portion is m, small m. Find the moment of inertia of the shaded portion about an axis passing through O and perpendicular to the plane. Now see, mass of the disk is directly proportional to area. Na? Mass of disk is yes, directly sir. proportional to area. That means mass of first one, this body, before removing Ankundam. Before removing, disk yes, is sir. nothing but pi into r square. r is given as of your 2r square. So, mass of A is e proportional to constant this is Kunde. That will become for me 4 into pi r square. Pi r square I am representing by your M. Yes, sir. Isn't it? This is 2 square. This is 4. Pi into r square four. I am representing yes. it as your capital M. So, mass of yeah. your original yes. area is how much for me? Disk 4M. Now, mass of four. this removed part is how much? This part removed. Mass of removed is pi into radius of this one is how much? The diameter is 2R and radius will be R. So it is R square. Pi R square already assumed as what? M gabati. So mass of your B will be equal to your pi into R square. That is nothing but capital M. So I got the mass of A and mass of B beta. Yes, sir. 
clarity on the Malasa Japana. See, mass of disk is directly proportional to your area beta because this is two dimensional yes, body. So, mass is equal to what I can write. Mass is equal to your its area. What is the part of relation? Mass is equal to directly proportional. Mass is equal to volume into density. Volume is equal to area into its thickness into your row part. Of. Thickness is negligible here. So, area yes, of that sir. one is pi into r square. So, mass is directly proportional to area. Kada. Material yes, is same. Sir. Thickness is same. So, mass is directly proportional to area. Area yes. is how much for me? Thickness, area of the disk is pi r square. This radius for the disk is given how much? 2r. Kada. So, I'm writing 2 into r square. That means this will be proportional to how much for me? 4 into pi into r square. This pi into r square I'm representing by your capital. Mm. Yes. Okay. The same way this part, remote part. For remote part, mass of B is directly proportional to area. Area is pi into r square. So, this okay. pi r Directly square, I can get property. this one is also m here. Yes. Sir. Okay. Then, so we got the, uh, now see, moment of inertia of area, this one. Before removing, before removing, what is the moment of inertia of this disk beta? So, moment of inertia of before removing the disk will be equal to how much beta? Half into mass into, what is the moment of inertia disk formula? I is equal to mr square by 2. Gada. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Mass is how much for me for the disk? 4m. 4m. Radius is how much for me? 2r. Divided by yes, 2 holes. Oh, no, yes. So it is a half. Uh, this is half. Mass is nothing but 4m. Radius is nothing but 2r square. 2 square is nothing but how much for me? 4. 4 into yes, this sir. one. Sorry. 4, 4 is 16, 4 16 by 2. That will be equal to 8m r square. Yes, sir. 1, 2 and 4 yeah. will get. So this is the moment of inertia of your total disk yeah. before removing this before part. Before removing this part. Yes. Now, after removing this part, what is the moment of inertia of this B about O? Moment of inertia of this B about O, I need it. So, for yes. this one, you see, moment of inertia of the B about O means moment of inertia of the disk, that is half into mass of that body is M and radius of that one is R square plus yes. M into R square. Parallel axis theorem we need to apply. Right? You don't need to mother yes, distance sir. and the R. I see for present. this one, mass is capital M, the radius is capital R. So, yes. moment of inertia of the disk is how much for me? MR square by 2 plus of your MR square. So, moment of inertia of the B about O will be equal to ICM plus of your M into your R square, yes. isn't it? Yes. So, ICM is MR square by 2. M is M, R is nothing but Kepler. So, it is half plus 1 is 3 by 2 MR square. Okay. So, we got yes. the moment of inertia of the total body. We got the moment of inertia of the removed body. Then, what is the moment of inertia of remaining and changes of? Original minus remote part, gada. like you are having yes, 100 sir. rupees and 20 rupees has been spent. So, what will do? 100 minus 20 remaining is nothing but 80. Na? The same way here right now. Moment of inertia of remaining part is how much? About your O. And E part for this one. Okay. So, moment of inertia of the remaining part will be moment of inertia of your A minus moment of inertia of B. Moment of inertia of A is 8 mR square. Moment of inertia of the B is 3 mR square divided by 2. So, it is 8 minus 3 by 2 is 13 by 2. So, moment of inertia of that one is 13 capital M into R square divided by 2 part of ratio. Okay. But this capital M is nothing yes. but what not rem remaining mass. Kada. Because remaining mass is what better? Remaining mass portion is how much? Small M. Small M. Yes. Sir. So, I need to write in terms of small M. See here. Uh, we know that remaining mass will be equal to how much better? Capital M is original mass. Remote yes, mass is here. So, if you are doing yes, this one, you are getting small M. Yes. Oh, no, this is given in the problem. It is given okay, in the problem. Yes, sir. Okay. So now 4m minus capital M is nothing but 3m. So 3 that m. is nothing but small m. So capital M value I got in terms of small m. How much it yes, is? Sir. M, by, m 3. by 3. Now we can Isn't substitute it? that so one. I naught is equal to 13 into m r square by 2. That is equal to 13 into small m into r square by your 6. Yes, part 3 into 2. Got an idea? Yes, sir. Isn't it? So, you can practice such type of equations also better. Some removed part, we have how to do the given conditions. Okay, na? so first we need to calculate the moment of masses of the body. So you know part. how to calculate the masses of the body. If it is two yes. dimension bodies, you take the area. If it is three dimension bodies, you take what? Volume. Yes. Sir. Okay. If it is one dimension body, you take linear mass density. <clears throat> like rod, ki, dan, ki, this Yes. Sir. This is also an important question. Find the moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod of mass capital M and length capital L about the axis shown. This is already there in your material beta. This is your rod of mass how much capital M and this is of length capital L. So find the moment of inertia of the thin uniform rod. Now see whenever you are applying this formula beta I is equals to M into R square. You know this R is always what beta? 
పొపెండిక్యులర్ డిస్టెన్స్ కదా ఫ్రమ్ ది యాక్సెస్ ఇది యాక్సెస్ అయితే ఇది పార్టికల్ అయితే ఈ ఆర్ అనేది ఎప్పుడు కూడా యాక్సెస్ నుంచి పొపెండిక్యులర్ ఉండాలి నైన్టీ డిగ్రీస్ చేయాలి ఎప్పుడు కూడా ఇజండి సో ఆర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఆల్వేస్ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఇన్ ద మూమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇనర్చర్ ఇఫ్ వి డోంట్ హావ్ ద పర్పెండిక్యులర్ డిస్టెన్స్ వి నీడ్ టు రిజాల్వ్ ఇట్ అండ్ టేక్ ద పర్పెండిక్యులర్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది మాస్ బట్ యూ కాన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ టేక్ లైక్ దిస్ లైక్ సే ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ యాక్సెస్ ఇక్కడ పార్టికల్ ఉంది అనుకో ఇక్కడ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఇట్లా డిస్టెన్స్ తీసుకుని ఇది ఆర్ అని లేము బికాస్ దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ కదా సో ఇన్ నాట్ హర్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ పర్పెండిక్యులర్ వాట్ విల్ డూ ఇట్ ట్రై టు రిజాల్వ్ ఇట్ హియర్ సో ఇఫ్ రిజాల్వ్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ టేకింగ్ హియర్ టీటా సో దిస్ విల్ బికమ్ ఫర్ మీ ఆర్ ఇన్ టు కాస్ టీటా దిస్ ఇస్ ఆర్ ఇన్ టు సైన్ టీటా that means for this one the yes. perpendicular distance is r sin theta yes got it yes sir now see this rod beta equal right now so find the moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod of mass capital m and radius uh, length of this one is capital about an axis shown in the figure this is your axis of rotation about this axis i need this is uniform rod gabati this is one dimension body or two dimension body obviously rod is one dimension one body. dimension one dimension body what i am doing is as it is a regular body i am taking the small mass of this rod that is nothing but how much dm okay so i am taking the small mass of this rod that is nothing but a few dm so now total mass is capital m so you know that cutet mass by original mass is equals to cutet length by original length so cutet mass is yes, how much for me dm is equals to this is your m by l into your dx okay na so yes. what is the moment of inertia for this one for regular bodies i told you the formula for small bodies what you will try to do you take one small element so di is equals to dm into r square now integrating on the both these sides i is equals to integral of di integral of di is nothing but i so integral of di value is how much here dm into your r square by definition so dm value how much we got right now here this value so it is m by l into dx r value is equals how much for me this perpendicular distance because this is x kada this is x here right now yes, this small m from this point it is an x you resolve this x into components beta this will become for me x into your cos and this will become for me x into sin ante kada yes sir for me x into your cos alpha cos this theta. side will be for me x into your sin alpha sin alpha so this this is parallel to this one kabatti i have taken here right now that one. okay na so perpendicular distance r is equal to how much for me x into sin alpha so in the place of r square i am writing that value beta x square sin square alpha so m by l a constant e alpha kuda constant kabatti sin square alpha is also constant so bring it out remaining is x square into dx so integral of x square into dx limits are from 0 to your l limits are from 0 to your l so integral of x square into dx is how much beta can anyone tell me integral of your x square into dx is equals to your x cube by 3 a kada cube yes so x cube by 3 l sin square into alpha integral of x square into dx is x cube by 3 substitute yes. you know no take the 3 out substitute upper limit minor minus lower limit in the place of x so it is m by l sin square alpha in the place of x it is l cube divided by 3 so this l and this one square will get cancel right now in this one so i'm getting from that one i is equals to ml square by 3 into sin square alpha okay na no? yes so this is your standard formula i is equals to your ml square by 3 into sin square, square alpha. alpha if alpha is 90 degrees then i value will become how much per beta so 90 is nothing but 1 so it is uh-huh. ml square by 3 if alpha value is 0 sin 0 is 0 so moment of inertia of 0 what it yes so to see the derivation if you are having any doubt please let me know why this example means here the mass is not having perpendicular distance beta so you got an idea how to resolve the x value and take the perpendicular distance from the mass so as to that particular small bit is the small m right sir yeah this is your small m dm part of this yes this particular mass for this one this is a perpendicular distance yes. now this mass from this axis is the distance of x na so e x yes. we are resolving it the width of this one is your dx yes width of this one is the dx here this is dm and it is distance of x now this x you can resolve here it will become for me cos here it will become for me sin yes sure. now this is also a very important point beta from a circular disk of mass capital m and radius capital r a part of 60 degrees is removed beta how much 
Sixty degrees is removed from where from a circular disc. The moment of inertia of the remaining portion of the disc about an axis passing through center and perpendicular to the plane of the disc is how much? Okay, from a circular disc of mass capital M and radius capital R, a part of sixty degrees is removed. The moment yes. of inertia of the remaining portion of the disc about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the disc is how much? Sir, so, okay. like, shall we do it as uh, the previous session, sir? First, yeah, we have to find the complete disc and then yeah. remove part. No, then... you know that how to when some part is removed, how do you calculate it? Cutted mass by original mass is equals to cutted angle by original angle. Here sure. it is, dm by your capital M is equals to. Cut it angle here right now. Cut it angle divided by total angle. You can even do like that one. That's not a problem. Okay, sir. This is but shorter. Need, sir. Yeah, this will be more shorter right now. Here. Okay. So mass of remote part means dm, gada. Yes, so dm sir. is the first. This m will go up. So it is m. How much part is cut it, beta? Sixty degrees, gada. So it is sixty. What is the total angle of this one, beta? Three sixty. Yes, sir. Because it isn't is it? Sir. 360 degrees. So it is six six. So it is m by six. So the mass of the remote portion is how much for me? M okay, by six. six. Directly. So what is the moment of inertia of this remote part? Like from a pizza, you're removing one part like this. So your remote part, your moment of inertia about 0 0.4 means I1 is equal to half into mass of that remote part. That is m by six. And how much distance it is always r. So it is r square. So this is yes. a moment of inertia of your remote part. This is a moment of inertia of your remote part. What is the moment of inertia of the complete disk? You know it already. Before removing this slice from this pizza slice, I can write that moment of inertia of the, something of that one is like a disk. So it is mr square by 2. Isn't it? For this one, when the axis is passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane, for the disk, moment of inertia is always equal to much better. mr square divided by your two parts. Isn't it? Now, what is the moment of inertia yes. of the remaining part beta? Remaining part means original minus removed. Original yes. is how much? MR square by 2. Remote is how much for me? MR square divided by 16 to 2, 12. Yes, sir. 12. Yes, sir. So it is uh, MR square common 1 by 2 minus 1 by 12. So it is 5 by 12. So answer is 5 MR square by your 12. 12. Yes. Okay. Right? Yes. So this sir. is also an important model how to do it out basically. Yeah? And uh, this one is also bit. A rod of length L and mass M0 is bent in the form of semicircle. We are having a rod of length how much? L. And it is bent in the form of what? Semicircle. Yes. Sir. Now, now tell me for circle, what is the moment of inertia? Better? Circle means like a ring. For a ring, what is the moment of inertia? First one. I is equals to M into your R square. R square. Yes. Sir. Half of this one means what? Semicircle. R square by 2. M R square by 2. Yes. Isn't it? Now we are having yes. a rod of length how much? L. Gada. So see, we are yes, having sir. a rod of length L. This is mass M0. You are bending in the form of what? Semicircle. You are bending in the form of what? Semicircle. Now length of this semicircle will be equal to how much? Pi R. Gada. So this pi R must be equal to this length only. Na? Yes. Sir. Because this length is bent in the form of semicircle. Yes, so sir. this perimeter of this one is L is equals to pi into R. Pi R. Yes, what is the radius I'm getting? R is equals to L by pi. Yes, sir. R is equals to from this one. R is equals to L by pi. So I got the radius. So I can substitute that value in this one. Kata. For the ring, semicircle ring, it is how much for him? M R square by 2. So for the semicircle, I can write M into R value. How much we got? R value, how much we got? L by pi. So this will become for me. How much for me? Or L by pi ras chikara. So it is L by pi whole square. This is mass M0 divided by 2. So how much it will be? Your M0 into L square divided by 2 into your pi square. Yes. Isn't it? So it is M0 into L square divided by 2 into pi square. So first option will be the answer. Isn't it? You just you need to understand how we are writing that value of your radius in terms of length. Because when they get a linear rod each other, we are converting that one into semicircle. So when you're converting this linear rod into a semicircle, this length must be equal to the length of the semicircle. Length of the semicircle, you know, it is how much always pi r, gada. Yes, sir. Into this point, a to b, this will be semicircle. If it is a total circle, it will become how much for me? 2 pi r, gada. Yes, sir. If it is a complete circle, it will be 2 pi r. Two pi r. It is yes. half your body, it is pi r. So pi from r, that yes, one, I'm getting the 
value r r is equals to l by pi okay. so that value of r i am substituting in the moment of inertia of your semi circle formula it is m yes. into r square into r value is l by pi whole square so answer is m not l square divided by 2 into pi square yes ilante thing kodu chestunnam chudu same condition a thin wire of length capital l and uniform linear mass density rho is bent into a circular loop with a center at o as shown the moment of inertia of the loop about the axis x and x dash will be equal to how much now what are you doing here beta a thin wire is right now bent into what circle yes a complete circle so complete circle means length will become how much for me 2 pi r kada yes sir isn't it so r will be equal to how much for me l by 2 pi isn't it now linear yes, mass sir. density is given in the problem as what rho linear mass density means what beta mass per unit length hai kada linear density yes, is nothing but mass per unit length that means mass is how much for me rho into l Dense. mass is yes, rho into l length is equals to the total rod this is your it's full rod that's why 2 pi wire of length l is bent into semi circle ka sir complete circle ka circle party. yes sir 2 pi that is 2 pi r so r is how much i'm getting l by u 2 pi l by 2 pi yes sir. now what is the moment of inertia of this one beta half into m into r square no, for the ring yes sir. isn't it now i need along this axis kada i need along this axis that means i need to apply the parallel axis theorem i need to apply the parallel yes, axis sir. theorem so if i'm applying the parallel axis theorem so i along x s dash will be equal to i not plus m r yes sir. for MR. the ring it is how much for me m r square by u 2 okay yes, because sir. it is completely passing through the diameter it is completely passing through this diameter like now this one okay so it is mr square yes. by 2 plus mr square so 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 mr square you already got the mass value beta mass value how much you got right now rho into l mass value is equals to rho into your l and the radius r is equals how much for me l by 2 pi whole square isn't it so this is l square into yes. l so 3 by 2 rho l into this one is l square divided by 2 square is 4 pi is nothing but pi square So answer is three into rho into l cube divided by eight into pi square. So that is the moment of inertia about your x x dash. That is a three into rho l cube divided by eight into pi square. Yes, got it. Got it. You can just practice these questions, beta. That will help you out for your examination also. And this one I told you yesterday, na? How to calculate this? Yes, sir. Graph. Graph condition. Why is it a six plus four condition? This question already have done it. So that was the basic conditions. <clears throat> sir, today also there was no warning, sir. Means for time limit. Today also no. So time limit was not there today also. A forty minute meeting was supposed. Over ah, uh, over forty minutes. Ah, over sir, but it no nothing came sir. Okay, sir. Maybe because of this Christmas, they might be giving some offers. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Got it, na? So in this one, I'll yes, send the sir. notes from here. You please try to write this notes from this one, or else you can keep it. From fifty-two, sir. Page number fifty-two. From page number fifty-two, you write it out. This is actually yesterday's class only. So these are very good questions. This is twenty third today is twenty four, gada. So you can yes, just write from here. While applying consideration of momentum, only okay. this star mark for this. You try to write this notes, but especially you write to try to do this question. Okay, sir. In your material also, there are some questions. If you can show me your material, I'll tell you what questions are to be done actually. Make workbook good or not? Workbook good or not? Your questions complete the chain, sir. Most probably. Okay, sir. Okay, and uh, this is the given condition. Okay, chalo. Okay. Okay, sir. In the in your track, uh, we'll be starting with the next one. That is rolling motion. But uh, today is what uh, Friday, na? Thursday. Today is Thursday, sir. Today is Thursday. Friday, Saturday, only. But the can we start with your rolling motion tomorrow, or we need yes, to do some more problems on uh, moment of inertia itself? uh we'll start so means we we'll start the next topic rolling yes. motion study for so, angular momentum caller class la epedi kuda ante almost all ide level undi kada yes sir same sir konni questions no, no. that similar kuda unnai sir actually okay okay fine so you can just do that one and plus try to concentrate on your material also better ones okay man no, sir moment okay. of inertia of your body sanni no, sir i make a table and try to write i'll send you right now the tables also for the different bodies All the tables, okay. moment of inertia, you need to remember for hollow sphere, solid sphere, yes, solid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That all values. All cylinders. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Oke, okay. okay. yes. thank you. Bye.